King Dragon Kraken is a YouTuber in Mexico reporting on the border crisis. Here is a clip from one of his videos. Enjoy. Uh, let me remind you that Me Mexico's um, immigration system and UN, especially the the National Guard. Sorry, the National Guard is uh, is sort of new on these immigration tactics because they never tried to ever stop them. You know what I mean? Until uh, basically now that they're really, really enforcing uh, tough immigration and not letting these illegals in. So Mexico is getting tougher on immigration. Debate over the photo comes weeks after Mexican officials agreed to step up immigration enforcement as the Trump administration threatened them with tariffs. An immigration crackdown has been increasingly visible on Mexico's southern border, on its northern border and between. It's this month the CNN team observed migrants begging for help inside a detention center in southern Mexico. Um, should we play the video? Sure, let's, let's play the video. Let's play it. On Monday, Mexico's defense secretary announced that nearly 15,000 troops had been deployed to the U.S.-Mexico border, and authorities have said that deportations from Mexico are on the rise. So, see? I mean, <laughs> that U.N. That UN is, is, is doing the immigration job. At a Mexican migrant center near the border with Guatemala, frustration and desperation in full voice. Calm down. Calm down. Desperate. Many of these migrants are. Uh, uh, many of these women are telling us they're from Africa, many, many different countries in Africa, and came up to Mexico from Colombia. There are also Haitians here. They say that people are sick and they just want to get their pass be processed so they can get out of this facility. The vast majority of migrants entering Mexico are from Central America, particularly El Salvador, Honduras, and Guatemala. Holy crap! Migrants like these who've come from Africa, headed, they hope, for the United States. Cameroon, the Ghanaians, the Nigerians, the uh, Congo, Angolans, there are so many Africans, the Bangladesh, the Indians, there so many people in there. This woman wouldn't give her name, but said she was from Cameroon, flew to Colombia with the help of traffickers, and trekked to Mexico, a journey that can take months. The women say they've been in detention for up to three weeks in what they claim are poor conditions. We have access to nothing, and they, they don't do nothing. They don't want us out. They just want us to stay here. We don't know why. We keep asking them, what's the procedure for us to leave this place? You keep, they don't tell us nothing. They don't care. That's Mexico. <laughs> that's Mexico. That's fucked up, but that's Mexico. Julio, no hay comida. The increasing presence of migrants from outside the region, Haiti, Cuba, even India, creates added pressures for Mexico's government, which in the next few days will send thousands Good job, of troops to its southern Good job. border to hold up its end of the bargain with the Trump administration to stem the migrant. I'm going to just let that play the whole thing. It will be a tough assignment for those not trained to deal with a humanitarian crisis Mexico says it simply cannot handle on its own. Michael Holmes, CNN, Tapachula, Mexico. Okay, so well, let me just pause this video real quick. This is going to probably repeat itself right now. So, yes, if this doesn't come out on American news outlets, it's probably because they're probably concealing the truth, honestly, because things are getting done. As you can see, the National Guard is not playing around. The INM is the one that needs to catch up. And start acting like the, the authority that it is with the immigrants. So military officers surrounded migrants protesting outside a shelter in Tapachula, Mexico on June 18th. So this was about a week ago, two, two week and a half ago. Immigrants rights advocates in Mexico have warned that the government's increased enforcement violates migrants' rights and contradicts Lopez Obrador's one-time campaign promise that he wouldn't do the United States dirty work. Lopez Obrador maintains that he has had no choice but to negotiate. We have to avoid a confrontation with the United States government, he said this week. We have to act with moderation. And honestly, let's just say the truth. What he's trying to say is that we need to be friends with the United States. Because who's going to give us more on the long run? The immigrants or the United States? It's, it's as simple as that. 